Guys, when we're traveling in our vehicle, a lot of us carry firearms. Either we have a concealed carry permit or we have a firearm in our vehicle as a truck gun, car gun, and something for self-defense. But one of the problems is, is that when you have a hammer, everything's a nail. And sometimes you need some alternates. And really, you just need to be prepared. My wife was getting ready to travel through Atlanta. It was during a lot of the rioting and the burning and, of course, the peaceful protest. And so I decided to put her together a bag. And it's something that led me to put together a bag as well. I really think that this is something that you might want to take a look at because sometimes you need some alternates, but you also need your firearm. Now this is a Maxpedition bag and you can use pretty much any type bag, you know, for this setup. And it can be much smaller. And we're gonna go through the contents and I'm gonna show you what we have here and some of the reasons why I have the things that I do in here. Now this video is really for a bag that you could have right there beside you. So having a small little carbine or a rifle or even a pistol with a brace on it in the back, which is something that we do. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. It's specifically about a self-defense bag that you can get right to. If you want to see something about truck guns or car guns, then check out the Sensible Prepper channel because we have addressed that a number of times, along with our get home bags with all of our survival items. Okay, here's the bag. It's one of the Maxpedition Entity, and this is the crossbody bag. Uh, very soft. Really, this is a great bag, especially if you want to go with that gray man look. But again, guys, this is not about the bag. You can get a ton of different bags, smaller, larger, whatever you want to do. I just would caution you not to get too big. Uh, in fact, they make a smaller one of these, and probably that would have been even more suitable. We just happen to have this one. Uh, it has a nice shoulder strap. really makes it great. Now, but the big thing is the contents of the bag. Now, one thing about it, you've got a grab handle, so you can pick it up. You can throw it over your shoulder if you need to. Uh, if you need to you know be on the move and so that makes it nice but it's not necessarily a backpack so it's really easy to get to and i think that's a big plus now one of the big things out on the outside of the bag and this was really kind of what started it is we have a water bottle pouch but we have some bear pepper spray and this is the frontiersman bear attack deterrent and this really puts out a lot of pepper spray especially in a crowd if you're being attacked if your vehicle's being attacked Pepper spray is going to be really, to me, my weapon of choice, and I say weapon, it's a non-lethal option. Uh, if I get pulled over, if they're trying to pull me out of my car or whatever, uh, better than a gun to me at first. Now, the gun's always there, and it you, know, you can make that decision, but it's really great to have something that will deter a crowd and kind of get things kind of calmed down. And this comes in a nice little sleeve, but it just fits here, so it's really easy to put on here. Now there is one other thing that's in the pouch that I would really like to have on the outside and that's something I'm going to work on and we'll talk about that in a second. Now you have two different compartments. Now we have our back compartment and then we have the front with all the pouches where we can put a lot of gear. But here in the back, now this is a concealed carry pouch and it has the, the hook and loop field all the way around it. So here I can put my Glock 19 uh, and obviously this is her Glock 19. And we have it in a holster so it stays stable. It's in the right position to draw it. If you just throw it down in there, you're going to have to fish for it. And so that makes it really good to be able to keep it in a stationary position. But also, we have a ball door laser light combo from Olight. And so we have light. And I like to check this before she goes on any kind of trips. But this gives you light. And really having a light on a firearm, because a lot of this stuff could happen at night. And so this gives her some light if she needs it. And I keep saying her, but we're just going to talk about it generically. But she does carry the Glock 19. Now, she does have her concealed carry that she keeps actually in her purse. And she has a concealed carry purse where she can get right to it. Uh, so this is just a secondary firearm. But if it gets that bad, that way she'll have that secondary firearm. And then also down here, we have a little hook and loop pouch and we have two extra magazines. And I wanted these magazines to be with the pistol because if she opens this up and has to draw the pistol, the two magazines are right there. So same thing for you guys. If you have your magazines up front and your pistol in the back, uh, you know, it's one easy way to open it up and get to both. And guys, to be honest, there's a lot of different type attachment systems. You just have to decide what's best for you. But if you have this Velcro lining, it makes it really easy to put some of these Velcro type holsters in here. And another consideration are the pulls. These are large pulls. They're easy to grab, gross motor skills. And so if she needs to get to that gun, just zip and you're in there. Then we have the main compartment. 
Now, one of the big things to me is having some kind of trauma kit. And we have a, a cat tourniquet, and we also have a compression gauze and nitrile gloves and hemostatic agent uh, for blood. And so this is actually a filster. I like these because when we go to the range, I can slip this in my cargo pants and this one in the other side. And I've got really a complete trauma kit. And so this is going in here. Now, I said something about the outside of the pack. I would really like to be able to mount this on the outside. And to be honest with you, I've got some systems to do that. And so it was just one of the things that came to my mind. Having a tourniquet on the outside of your bag to me is just smart because this is something you may have to get to right away. Also, something that's a big plus is a large flashlight. Uh, now, one thing about a large flashlight is it puts out a lot of light, obviously. But it can also be used as a baton. And so here I can use this as a non-lethal option. It has a crenulated bezel, so I can actually do whatever I need to. But really, using this as a club uh, with those batteries especially, this is great to have, and it gives you light. That's one thing about having a good big flashlight like this. But now a little bit of redundancy, I do have a Warrior X by Olight, and this one could be just really the only flashlight. I mean, it's a great self-defense tool, but I really like the large flashlight. I added this in later because this is just actually one of my favorite lights for security. Uh, in fact, we carry this with us every time we walk the dogs, have them outside. And as they say, two is one, one is none. Now here in the back, I have another extra magazine, and I have it in one of the Jackson Leatherwork holsters. It actually fits down in there. And then I have another magazine down in there. So a little over the top, but having those extra mags, you know, you never can have too many mags. A couple of pens at the back. We have a Sharpie, and then I have just a standard writing pen. Now also back behind the light, I have one of the SOGs. This is a Trident Elite. Pops out really fast. Um, she, uh, really having a blade is important for a lot of things, cutting, doing things. Uh, even in a self-defense situation, this is going to be, you know, pretty adequate. Uh, but the other part of this is we have a seatbelt cutter. And so that's also in there. Uh, again, you could probably put this one on the outside of your pouch, but you don't want too much. And it has a glass breaker here on the end. So actually she has something very similar to this that she keeps up in her visor. Uh, for that reason, and I highly recommend, guys, you having that set aside, uh, especially for your significant other or for you. Uh, being able to seat, cut your seat belts and glass breaker and, of course, the knife, this is vital in an emergency. This one also has a lock so this blade doesn't come flying out because if you'll notice, it does come out really fast. Now, I also have a battery backup, and this is one of the dark energy battery backups, but also we have our cables right here in this front pouch. I have the recharging cable for my Olight, uh, have the uh, battery backup, and also a phone, and then I have one of the small little adapter blocks. But I just keep these in here. Uh, th really, this is part of security because you want to make sure that these things are able to stay charged. And one thing that she just likes is the Baton 3 Premium. Uh, and this is something new from Olight, and she's just a big fan. Uh, this one has the small little Baton 3 that pops out, but this is a charging station. So when you drop it in, it's charging. And you can also charge other things with this. Uh, but it's just really cool, and it's just something she likes. But this is not necessary. It's just kind of cool. And then here on this side pouch, uh, we have a mask. This is not necessarily for COVID or whatever, but it's definitely, you know, smoke and debris, things like that. But she does have the extra mask. Then also we have one of the Field Notes writing pads. And this is what the pens are for. And if you just ever need to write down something, let's say a license tag number if somebody's taken off. Uh, but that, that's really all that's in here. And again, guys, this is to be as minimal as possible which there are some things that I probably could have taken out, like the extra flashlights. But again, two is one. So again, guys, this is just the setup we have, and hopefully it will inspire you to put together something, especially when you're traveling through urban areas or metropolitan areas, uh, having a bag that, you know, in case you get into the middle of something. Uh, of course, I highly recommend the pepper spray, guys. That is a big one, especially for that non-lethal. If you find yourself in a crowd, if your car's been stopped and you're being attacked, this is a big one. Of course, the flashlights, definitely light is your number one security tool. So have a good flashlight and you can use that as a defensive tool as well. Uh, and then, of course, having your firearm, watch your local laws, especially while traveling and how you have this stored. Uh, and then, of course, the medical is definitely a big one. 
So, you know, your tourniquet, your compression galls, your hemostatic agents, those things, uh, very vital. So pretty much, you know, just a solid pack. But guys, you know, pick out what's best for you, what you might think you need. And down in the comments below, make sure you leave other things that you might add in here. Now, this, again, is not a get-home bag. It's not a survival bag. We have get-home bags in each of our vehicles. So we have all that. But when it comes down to self-defense, I like to have everything in one place. And that way I know where it is and get to it in case you run into an emergency. So guys, if you're a concealed carry permit holder, that's great. And you're carrying your firearm. But sometimes, you know, you might need some other things. Especially if you find yourself in a civil unrest situation where, you know, there are multiple people around. And so guys, put together a nice bag for yourself, but also for your spouse and those you love and uh, it'll get them through a tough situation, or at least it'll give them the tools to have a fighting chance. Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market, and you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't do one thing. And I have a light cable. Okay, I have a recharge. Okay, I have a, the Olight light. Definitely. And of course, it. Um, re, of course, it's a where. Of course, but it's really fast to come out. Okay. Whoops. It didn't come out smooth. <laughs>